Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another review on Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. If you're not subscribed, right now hit that subscribe button before watching, or I'm not going to let you watch. Anyway, today we are taking a look at the new Outsiders Phoenix release. This is obviously a Flieger watch, and it's a beautiful watch. It's from the Swiss company Outsiders. Um, they were actually at Baselworld, if you didn't, if you remember that, and they were trying to give away free watches, which is a really nice and good gesture, but unfortunately the Swiss did not like that, and they were kicked out of Baselworld, which is kind of wrong in my opinion, but I guess that's how they do things over there. Anyway, um, this is their new Phoenix edition. It's a Flieger. It's in the Sunray Blue dial. There are a couple different variations. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below. This is not a sponsored video. I did buy this watch with my own money. So I'm going to give you an honest and thorough review. I think it's a really well-made watch. It's obviously... I wouldn't really put them in micro-brand territory because they have all the manufacturing and the better quality control and everything over there in Switzerland. And it's... To be honest, it doesn't feel like a micro brand watch. It feels like a watch from like a brand like Hamilton or Tissot. Actually, a little better quality than Tissot. I don't want to say that. But yeah, definitely a really cool watch here. Uh, but let's start off with what's on my wrist today. Today I'm wearing the G-Shock Mudman, a $80 cheap quartz watch. It's uh, basically my beater watch. Um, I wear it when I'm around the house doing things or filming or out uh, shooting paintball guns or doing crazy stuff. Okay, anyway. Uh, so here's the watch in front of you. Obviously that blue dial is really, really stunning and it really has a nice effect when the light hits it. Now this watch here obviously is crafted of solid 316L uh, stainless steel. Uh, it's finished very nicely. You have that nice kind of really smooth texture to it. Um, it is in a, housed in a 41 millimeter case. We have a lug to lug of 51 millimeters. We have a 20 millimeter lug width in terms of thickness. This thing is 10.4 millimeters thick. Keep in mind it does have a Swiss automatic movement inside of it. So, you know, I don't know how they got it that thin, but it's pretty incredible. At 10.4 millimeters, I don't know how they did it, but it works. Anyway, uh, the watch itself actually has 100 meters of water resistance, which is one of the main reasons I bought this watch. And one of the main things I look for in Fliegers and field watches, if it has 100 meters, I'm going to buy it. If it doesn't, I'm not going to buy it because I like to take my watches in the water. I go to Florida a lot and I swim in the beach and pool. I have a place down there. So, um, I kind of need a watch that, you know, you can go in the water with, and this is a Flieger, one of my favorite styles of watches, especially the blue Sunray dial, and it has 100 meters, so big ups to them for doing that. Now, it does have a sapphire crystal, of course, on the front. Now, on the back, there's a mineral crystal where, where the exhibition case back is, where you can see the beautiful decorated movement. The crown is pull and push. Um, we do get BGW9 loom on all the uh, numerals going around the dial, the reference triangle at the 12, and of course the hands. Um, some other stuff about this watch, well price point, we're looking at about $489, which is a really good price for this quality. You know, you got micro brands out there charging $500 for watches with NH35 movements. And you know, this is a real Swiss made watch from Switzerland with a very nice STP 111 fully decorated movement for $489 to your door. So, you know, you can kind of see where you're getting ripped off sometimes with some of the other brands. Um, but anyway, um, let's take a look at the movement. It's actually very nice. This is, I believe, my second encounter with a uh, uh, STP-111. It's, uh, you know, basically the same thing as an ETA-2824. But this one is very nicely decorated. I'm going to get you in a little closer. Here you can see the rotor. Nice Outsiders logo. It does state Swiss made. It does have 26 joules. Beats at 4 hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. It does have hacking. It does have hand winding and some beautiful perlage work on the actual plates here. Some nice blued screws. Stripes going up and down the rotor. Geneva stripes. And it's really nice. I really like the finishing on this movement. It's just uh, really nice to see especially from a smaller company that they can put out something like this and they did it right. In terms of power reserve, we get 44 hours, which is pretty good. And like I said, it does have 26 joules. So all in all, in terms of accuracy, I've tested this over the past 48 hours and we're looking at negative five seconds. So if you divide that by two, that's minus 2.5 seconds a day. That's within cost. So that's really good. I was really happy to see that. You know, sometimes it's hit or miss. You never know, but obviously this one right here is very, very uh, accurate. 
I guess I got a good one, or I don't know if all their watches are like that, I can't say that, but this one is definitely running extremely accurate. Now, in terms of finishing on this watch, the finishing is pretty nice, I must say. It's very smooth, the brushing, it's obviously matte uh, brushed here, very smooth, no sharp edges, nothing like that. Nice little line of polishing going up here on tops of the lugs. The smooth bezel itself is fully polished, so you really get that nice kind of sunray blue with the polishing, and it really pops in the sun, as you can see here. Gives off all different rays. I really do like that. Now, in terms of logo, we do have the Outsiders logo uh, printed over here with the red circle. Outsiders Switzerland, Mark Swiss made down at the 6 o'clock position. Your date window is located at the 3 o'clock position. And it's in a white window, matches the numerals going around the dial. As you can see, there is a white tip on the sweeping seconds hand here, which is really nice. It definitely contrasts nice with the white and blue. I think it looks perfect. It's very legible. This is a Flieger watch, so it's definitely meant to be very legible. And it is. Also, the seconds hand does reach all the way out to the end of the dial, which I do appreciate and I really do like. I will never buy a watch with a seconds hand that is short because it just looks cheap and they probably just didn't find a hand that actually fit the dial in most cases. Um, but yeah, definitely done right here as you can see. Very nice. Not too much glare there with the nice anti-reflective coating. The crown itself is signed and it deeply engraved with the Outsiders logo which is pretty nice there. Uh, the crown, like I stated, is pull and push. We get self-winding in the first position, which is just as smooth as a Solita or, or a Eta 2824. Um, very smooth. And then your first position, we get a quick set date, which clicks in very nicely, very legible in the window, no issues there. Final position is your hacking position, and the seconds hand will halt, and we can set the time here. Nice long pilot style hands, filled with BGW9 loom. Does state automatic above the six o'clock position as well. Let me just go ahead and set the time here. Push that back down and you're all good to go. Now the strap it comes on is a genuine leather strap in brown uh, with a different color, kind of a beige color in the black, stated 20 genuine leather, Outsiders logo, one stationary keeper, one floating keeper with contrast white stitching to match the dial. You do have a custom buckle here which is curved, so when you put it on your wrist it curves nicely with the band. I do like that they did that, completely brushed just as the case is. Um, in terms of straps, I think this brown strap suits the watch, uh, but you know me, I like to change out straps like crazy. Obviously, this has 100 meters of water resistance, so if you're, you know, to go in a pool with it, which you can, you can obviously change it out to a rubber strap, which actually looks pretty nice on, makes it look a bit more sportier than uh, aviation themed, I'd say. Um, but yeah, just give you an all-around look at the watch here. Uh, I want to check out the loom, show you what the loom looks like. The loom is pretty good. It is BGW9, which does glow blue, and let's get right into that. Here is a loom shot, and as I stated, the loom is very good and potent. I held the torch to it for about five seconds. Everything is fully lit from the triangle, all the numerals, the hour markings, and the hands. So as you can see, it's not fading. It's good loom. It's strong. It's potent, and I think it's very good. There is the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, lug to lug. It fits about across. Uh, it rides very flat on the wrist, so you can definitely conceal it under a cuff if you really wanted to. The strap itself, I must say, will need about uh, three or four days or a week or so to break in, but it's definitely a decent quality strap and wearable. And the buckle of, is a nice proportion, which is a little nitpick thing of mine. And it's curved, so it doesn't bulk up. As you can see, it curves right with your wrist and right with the strap. I like when they do that. Anyway, all in all, it's a very comfortable watch on the wrist. It looks right at home on my 6.5 inch wrist. And yeah, um, what more can I say? I like how it looks. So there you have it, guys. This is the new Outsiders Phoenix watch. I think it's a home run by the company. I did like their previous dive watch. And I honestly, I think I like this watch a little better. It's really thin at 10.4 millimeters. It's very wearable for people with larger wrists and smaller wrists. And like I said, uh, blue dialed Flieger watches are some of my favorite watches out there. And I think they did a nice job with this beautiful blue sunray dial. I didn't find any, you know, quality control issues or anything like that. No sharp edges. You know, I didn't really find anything wrong with the watch. Obviously, people are going to say, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Little things. But that doesn't really matter to me. I'm not uh, so crazy like that. If you know what I mean. If I like the watch, I like it and I wear it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual. And you can definitely find a link to their website. I will throw it in the descriptions so people don't ask me, where can I buy this watch? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will drop a link down there for you guys. 
definitely check out the full written article on WatchAddictChannel.com. You can see a picture of the box also. It's a pretty simple cardboard box, nothing really crazy. Uh, but what really matters is the watch, right? So we'll see you guys on the next video. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Throw me a like on the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.